Welcome to MPS Now. Today we'll be unboxing the evaluation kit for the MP5470. This video will cover what comes in the box, how to set up the board, and how to interact with the board using the MPS Virtual Bench GUI. Your kit will come with a user manual, a USB cable, jumper wires, the I2C communication adapter, and the EV5470 board. The board comes with four circuits and outputs pre-built on the board. The output pins are labeled on both sides, along with their ground pins. The input pins are located on the bottom of the board. For I2C communication, the SDL and SDA pins are located here in the lower corner, and the ground pin is located here. The adapter has its I2C pins on one side, and the USB input on the other side. On the back of the adapter, you'll find a diagram labeling where to connect your jumper wires. Now let's move on to our test setup. The MP5470 is a quad-channel power management IC with an input voltage range of 4 to 16 volts. Channels 1 and 2 have an output current limit of 3 amps. Channels 3 and 4 have an output current limit of 2 amps. For this test, we'll be measuring channel 1 and have the switching frequency set to 800 kilohertz. The switching frequency, output voltage, and other key parameters are adjustable via I2C. For this test, we'll set input to 12 volts and the input current limit to 2 amps to avoid triggering current limit protection. Make the appropriate connections to your board from your power supply and measuring equipment. For this test, we'll be using a digital multimeter to measure the output voltage and the I2C adapter to adjust the output. When making the I2C connections, be sure to first connect the jumper cables to the board and adapter before connecting the USB to the computer. Power your board from the supply first and then plug in the USB to your computer. To change the output voltage on your board, you'll first need to download Virtual Bench 4.0 or later from the MPS website. To download the GUI, follow the instructions in the user manual or look for Virtual Bench Pro at monolithicpower.com to find the download link. Once installed, open the GUI and select Create New Project from the Start menu. If the GUI doesn't automatically detect your board, select Add Manually, MP5470, and choose Address Hex 68. Your device should now appear in the GUI System menu on the left side of the screen. Select this block to access the adjustable parameters of the board. Click here to see the status of each channel and to choose which channel to program. The programming process is the same for all four channels. The MP5470 has two options for selecting the output voltage. We can directly output the reference voltage from 0.55 to 1.82 volts or three times the reference voltage from 1.65 to 5.46 volts. Using the GUI, let's set the output voltage to directly feed a reference voltage of 700 millivolts to the output. Select Write RAM and the output voltage should now read around 0.7 volts. Now let's change the output to one third feed. Select write RAM and the output should now read around 2.1 volts, three times our reference voltage of 700 millivolts. To see the values currently programmed on the board, select read RAM and the GUI will automatically update all values currently set on the chip. Lastly, to set new default values when the board first powers on, choose your settings and then select Write ROM. The MP5470 allows the user to write custom default values three times. The number of writes left on the board is displayed in the upper right corner of the GUI. Visit monolithicpower.com to read more about the MP5470 and other devices MPS has to offer for your applications. To directly contact a field applications engineer with your questions, visit MPS Now on our company homepage or email mpsnow at monolithicpower.com.